Peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will analyze more and more about how Muslims they try to introduce their God, their Prophet to us. Now, as you see in the video, people, the Muslims, they bow down to the Kaaba, they kiss the black stone, and they say this is the house of God. And it's very funny that you know the house of God it can be something spiritual, not real, like which means for me the church is the house of God, but it doesn't mean they really he lived there, right? But the Muslims, they have one house of God, and this is, is the Kaaba. Everybody bow down to that Kaaba. Now, do Muslims bow to, to down to their God or to the Kaaba? The fact they bow down to the Kaaba because their God cannot be there. So the Kaaba worshipper, the cubic, the Kaaba simply, it's mean a cubic, by the way. The Arabian Peninsula used to have more than 26 cubic. And you can search by yourself in the internet and you will find the answer. And the Arab in every town, every village, they have a cubic as a restroom. They do poo poo, they do pee in it as a restroom. In the same time, they sell in the, like it's it's a, let us say it's a square where people they uh, uh, produce and uh, uh, introduce their product. In the same time, people who they have idols, they place their idols there so they can make money out of it. Because if you worship this idol. I am the one who is serving this idol. This is my idol. You know, you give me money. So I make an idol. People who worship it, they will give me money because I am a good guy who is serving this idol. It's a business. This is what the Kaaba was for. Now the Muslims, they make it as important part of their religion. Not only important, it's the most important. Like, guess what? What if the Kaaba disappeared today? Islam is missing. What if the Kaaba... It's gone. Islam is missing. Somebody will say how the Kaaba will go anyway. Well, it's gone before. Hassan al-Qurmuti, he took the Kaaba out of the place, destroyed it, and he took the black stone, which Muslims they kiss it, and the Prophet of Islam he kiss it, and he made it as a poopoo stone. He used to pee in it for more than 20 years, actually, about 40. And this is a proof, the false story in the Quran where it says that Allah, he sent the birds who they are so huge to kill that army who was trying to destroy the Kaaba. How come Allah, he did not send those birds again when Hassan al-Qurmuti, which he is an ex-Muslim who destroyed the Kaaba and he took the black stone and he was screaming in the mid of the Kaaba saying, where are you Allah? Where is the birds? Where is those birds who can send and, you know, and throw rocks? So he proved that this is always a lie. This is what he was trying to do. He was proving to us Muslims that Islam is a stupid lie and there is nothing, no such a thing, it's called Allah. And he destroyed the Kaaba and Allah did nothing. And he kept it for years and years and every day, every day he pee and do poo poo in the top of that stone. And Allah did not do anything. Until after many years, more than 20, 30 years, 40 years, the Muslims was able, the guy he died, his army is gone, you know, and they were able to take the, take the black stone and build the Kaaba again. Now, if we answer the, the, the question here, who is Muhammad? Let us make points about Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? And I want Muslims to be honest with me when they see my answer. answer this question who is Muhammad simply we start from his family and by the way I'm not calling anyone names I'm just going to say what the Quran is saying according to the Quran according to Muhammad words Muhammad is a son of a dirty woman and the son of a dirty man I'm not calling them names absolutely not I have nothing against those people. They never did harm to me. They never claimed to be anything. I mean his mother and his father. They lived their life in peace and they die in peace. But according to Islam, they are filthy people. Surah 9 verse 28 says, O who believe, truly the pagans are any clean. The, by the way, the word in Quran is not any clean. It is najis, which means extremely filthy. So let them not, after this year, to approach this, the sacred mosque. So from that day, no one can get close to the mosque of al Kaaba. Now, if you go to the city of, of, of Kaaba, by the way, if you are a Christian, they will kill you. 
you cannot enter the city limit. If you enter the city limit and you are a Jewish or a Christian or a Hindu, you are dead. That's it. This is a crime. Why? Because Allah, he ordered, nobody can enter. Only Muslims. So according to Muhammad Quran, not to my Quran, I don't have one, his father and his mother are filthy. So if you ask me who is Muhammad, I will say, well, he is Muhammad, the son of the filthy Amina and the son of the filthy Abdullah. By the way, his father, his name is Abdullah, not Abdullah. They changed his name. Because it doesn't make sense that his father, his name is Abdullah, but he is not a believer in Allah. And the funny, the Muslims always try to convince you that the family of Muhammad used to believe in Allah, which is false. How we can prove that? Very easy. All his uncles, they have a name of slave of an idol. Abdullah, Abdu Uzza, Abdu Manaf, etc. All of them, they are slaves of one of the idols of the Kaaba. Including the father of Muhammad himself, he was, his name, slave of one of those gods. This is why he is not a believer. He don't believe in the God of Muhammad. So number one, Muhammad is coming from a dirty family according to Quran. This is number one. Number two, his birth. Muhammad, his birth was four years four years after his father's death and how this can be i will post this link next to my video and this is an islamic website you can go and translate from english to arabic from arabic to english and by the way there is a lot of information in there very valuable information his uncle hamza was born in the same day when Muhammad father did die in the same time the father of Hamza which he is the grandfather of Muhammad he is the one who did consume the marriage of both Hamza and his brother the father of Muhammad supposedly in the same day they did marry in the same day and I'm not reading from my own mind this is your Islamic sources open the book of At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra and you will see both of them they did marry in the same night Muhammad father he stayed with his wife for three nights only that's it his brother he stayed with his wife until he died which was about six years now if you read the reference you will see that Muhammad to explain what happened because this is impossible how you can be the son of Abdullah when your father he died four years before your birth because as we said Hamza was born in the same day when the father of Muhammad did die <laughs> And this is why you see in the Quran, and according to the explanation of the Quran and Muhammad, you know, as I see in front of my eyes, they are saying that the Muslim woman, she can be pregnant up to four years, in some cases, ten years. So Muhammad, he made that false claim just to cover the shame, you know, he have in his, 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 uh, his past. His mother, she cannot be having him from his father, the one they claim he is his father. Because there is no way that his mother, she was pregnant for four years, after his father's death you can go and search right now in yahoo or in google you will see there is a there is a woman in nigeria she was going to be stoned to death but when the lawyer he provide evidence to islamic court that you know what in islam the woman she can be pregnant for even four years so if she get a pregnant two years after his her, her husband's death doesn't mean she is doing adultery so the court have to let her go simply because this is what Muhammad told them yes so you know if you if you divorce your wife and she call you four years after saying to you I am pregnant from you don't get upset in Islam you have to accept it it doesn't mean that she was sleeping all over downtown with everybody and she get a pregnant no this is your son accept that this is the rule of Islam now we don't have much time left follow with me with the coming video Christ is Lord
اسلام از فاس امین